A webinar is an interactive online event where a group of participants can listen to a speaker who delivers a presentation or seminar. The organizer can also conduct interactive polls and Q&A sessions to keep the audience engaged. During the pandemic, webinars skyrocketed and the go-to platform was Zoom. For live streaming, I've never been a fan of Zoom because it has no production functionality. But for meetings and webinars, they have maintained their leader status. StreamYard's on-air platform takes all the best parts of streaming and places it inside a webinar format. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today... We're looking at StreamYard's Zoom replacement on air. First, let's take a look at the, the plans that StreamYard has where on air is included. Because first, the thing you're going to want to check for is if I even have access. So if you're on the free plan, sorry, guys, it's not here. Um, even on the basic plan, you do not get access to StreamYard's on-air platform. So you you only get it right here at the professional plan. And you can see that it's there. It's included in the professional plan. But the limitation is 250 viewers. So you can have a webinar with up to 250 attendees. And um, you can have that all there uh, with the professional plan. Now, for those that are just interested, I'm not certain how many of you are, but you can, you know, go up to premium growth or business premium will give you a thousand attendees. Growth will give you 10,000 and business 10,000 plus. I don't know how many of you are in that, those categories, but I wanted to share that with you. Now I have a, um, I'm on my dashboard now and I do have a webinar, a StreamYard on air webinar set up already, but I want to walk through the process of actually creating one. And so here's our create button. You can click that and you can see there are three options on the screen. One being live stream, the other being recording, and the last one being on air. And that last one is the one we want to hang our hat. So I want to click on that on air. The first thing I want to show you is that you could actually have a fully pre-produced video and upload it into StreamYard for your webinar have people register for it, even like say on a rolling calendar, I'm trying to give you ideas here, like maybe even, you know, lead magnet content, stuff that's packed with value, but you have it behind this wall where they've got to give you an email address and password, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, well, not password, email address and name so that you can add them to your ecosystem. And then you can have this thing kind of on its own, just People register on a rolling calendar basis. So that's cool. You can actually upload pre-recorded content. You can just click pre-recorded here, select your video. Maybe it's even something you've previously recorded with StreamYard, and you could actually go through and do that there. Uh, but for the purposes of what we're going to do, we're going to do this as a live, like what people would normally do in Zoom. You don't have the ability to do pre-recorded with Zoom. But what people would normally do in Zoom, it would be a live webinar. And so we're going to simulate that. You would come here, um, put in your title, put in your uh, description. You can decide whether or not it's going to be registration or not by simply checking this box. And I'm going to show you that that actually makes uh, a change to the page as it happens. Um, you can upload a thumbnail to kind of be as a placeholder. And I would recommend that you do that. And then you set your date and time for your webinar. I'm just going to do this for next week and say create. And then that is done. You will see here on this page that we can go to on air settings or we can share the link with viewers and simply so, so click this icon to go to the registration page. And of course, this is what it looks like. It has a registration page. This is where people would register. The same page is where they would go uh, when they are ready to actually watch the webinar. So, but registration is what's there prior to the webinar going live. So that's what that looks like. We can click continue here. Now we see that these are here. Now I want to go into the webinar that I've already created, which is this. It just has a little bit more information. I want you to notice here that 
on the side, when I click on these three dots, I have a number of other options available to me. On-air live viewers, I have share, I have on-air settings, and I have edit. When I click on edit, it gives me that same screen that I was at before. Of course, in this one, I do have my title, my description, I have my, uh, my thumbnail and the date and time for my webinar. So I can click save changes there. And if I do make any changes, they are going to propagate wherever I have this webinar set up. But the other option that's here, instead of going to edit is on air settings. And this is a page I want you to really take a look at. This is going to give you uh, right now, you can see branding, so you can actually upload a logo. You can see what that looks like there. You can see what the watch page will look like. So up here at the top, you see what the watch page looks like. You can actually preview what the emails look like and what the registration page looks like. Now, notice up here it says registration is off. Um, so when I go to the watch page, the registration is off. Um, and again, the, the, this is what that might look like if I was to... Uh, have registration on. If I actually go to the uh, page itself, this is what it would look like. This is what the experience would be. Is if I join the chat, different things would happen. Um, yeah, this is what that looks like when you are on the actual watch page. Now, I'm going to come back here to the uh, on air settings page, and I'm going to simply go to registration and turn this on. These are the fields that are required for registration first, and last email address. And this is what that page looks like when you have registration turned on. And if I go back to the page, it would simply ask me to register if I have not already registered for this particular event. I have registered, and I do want you to see what the uh, emails look like. This is an email that would be sent to me um, before the event. So before the event, this is an email that would be sent to me. It has some of the description that I've put in. It has the logo that I've put there. It per uses the person's name and it does give them um, the actual join button so they can join the webinar. So this is a full featured, very robust it simulates um, a lot of the functions and features that we would normally get from Zoom um, for webinars. So this has that piece there. Um, after the webinar is done, they would get a follow-up email and that says, thank you for joining. And you can see, click, click here to watch the recording. So you have, again, some really robust um, functionality and features when it comes on to the actual setup. Uh, of your webinar. So this is what it all looks like. These are some of the things that you can do. And again, you can actually come here to manage registrants. If you, when, when you have your registrations here, you can manage them here. And I want you to notice that you can export your registrations to a CSV file. You can export them to a CSV file right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, the last thing I want to show, of course, is how then would we go about streaming? What would a stream look like? I'm glad you asked. So let's enter the studio. This is actually set to be there right now. This again is the watch page. I'm going to back to my, my StreamYard uh, main page. I'm going to turn the registration off on this one by going to on-air settings so that it just allows for you know pretty much anybody to watch when there's no registration when registration is turned off on a webinar or on air it allows for everybody to watch notice now that i've turned this off this page says you're all set you're ready to go so we could simply add this to your calendar that page is changed simply by toggling that registration on and off now i'm re refreshing the page and you can see again now this says stream is starting soon this is what it looks like when the stream is getting ready to start. So this is what it would look like. So now let's come back over here. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Go to change this out. Uh, we're gonna use my background shot for this. Um, I'm gonna come back over here. Don't want to interfere uh, with audio. So I think we're good there. Go ahead and mute, enter the studio. You would function just like you would any other uh, functionality, any other uh, uh, 
um, live stream that you would do with StreamYard. Everything is the same. A lot of people uh, keep on wondering, well, for on air, what does it look like? What does it feel like? This is essentially the full StreamYard studio. Nothing has changed. So um, I can come in here. It says it's time. It's showtime. So I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. I'm going to come here, change to my default brand. I'm going to put up the logo here and we're actually going to click to go live. So we go live. And again, remember, this is only going to stream to the on airs account. You can see this up the top here. I am not setting it to stream to anything else. If I wanted to add some other destinations, I could. I could add my Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter. I could even add Amazon, whatever you wanted to. It just since this is something that I wanted people to register for, I don't want to do that, but I wanted to show you that that functionality is there. Um, and, and in case if you ever wanted to do something like start the webinar by going live to your Facebook group, and then when you actually get into the actual content of the webinar, you can turn off the Facebook group. You could actually do that and, and essentially force people to come over to the actual webinar page and engage with you there. So let's go live. We can, we're going live now. And now that we're going live, it says you're live. We'll just go ahead and run a little countdown. And so that is playing through. Um, and then the next, the, the next thing that I could essentially set up is add myself to the stage. Um, and once, uh, once the countdown video is completed, maybe I want to do a quick presentation. So let's get our slides up here. Um, doing studio recommendations. Uh, and I'll just kind of set that up like this and add that to the stage as well. Should work. And let's say the countdown is finished. We, we can come out of that countdown, uh, take our overlay off, and you'll see myself along with uh, the presentation on the screen there, um, essentially ready to go. And I can control my presentation with the arrows. So I've got my webinar rolling. This is what it looks like. Now, what does it look like to the viewer? So glad you asked. Let's go over to the viewer side. This is what it looks like to the viewer. It's essentially an entire StreamYard live show, but fully self-contained. I'm not streaming to my own website, not streaming to uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, none of the above. I'm streaming to just StreamYard, um, somebody would have had to register to get to this page. And I want you to understand, there are no distractions here. There are no promos on the side. There's no pop-up of a messenger window from somebody looking to chat with your, your, audi your audience member on, on Facebook Messenger. There's nothing pulling for their attention. You have it clean here. And, the, and they can actually click in and join the chat just by adding their name and join the chat. And now I can actually send a message. I like that capture card. Now that comment is there and you're wondering, I know you are, uh, will that comment be able to be displayed on screen? The answer is yes. You guys are asking some great questions today. If I come here to comments, just like you would any other StreamYard live show, your on-air comments are, can come in and you can actually put them on screen just like that. That is full featured. That is uh, definitely something to think about when you talk about leveling up your content, um, taking your audience on a journey towards further engaging with you off of borrowed property and onto owned property. You pay for StreamYard uh, pro plan, or if you have one of the higher plans, you're paying for this kind of service. And so this kind of service is something that you can own. You can bring them into your ecosystem. And there's a lot of things that that can have positive results for, but that is essentially StreamYards on air, their zoom replacement. Now you may say this doesn't exactly replace zoom. This is great. And you would be right. I think Zoom still has its place. The major complaint I have always had on Zoom is lack of production abilities. I don't want to see a mouse moving on screen. Don't want to see squares moving around. Don't want to, that black background and, and no comments on screen. Just isn't my vision for a webinar. With on air, 
you can deliver your value, your lead magnet content, your freemium session in a direct environment, free from distractions, all while having access to all the production functionality StreamYard provides. Something to think about. Let me know in the comments if you've tried on air or plan to give it a try now that you've seen this brief tutorial. Learn more StreamYard tips, tricks, and best practices in these videos.